my name is Odi and today we are going to work on uh, the Nikeza app from the Lambda Cartel. Uh, specifically, we will be working on the server side part which is uh, supposed to be written in uh, F -sharp on .NET Core using uh, Giraffe. So for this video, I'm going to show how to get up and running with uh, Giraffe. Um, on .NET called the Giraffe Framework. That's a functional framework, which is the equivalent of the um, ASP.NET MVC. So, it, it, unlike uh, Suave, it plugs into the ASP.NET pipeline, so you can reuse your middleware and other, you know, tools and components and other skills. So, let's get started. You know, um, the prerequisite for this is first and foremost, you need .NET Core. You need the Visual Studio Code. So those two have installed. You can check out my other videos for for that. So I have videos where I show how to install those. So with those two in place, let's get started. All right. So to get started, first of all, let's uh, open. I need three windows. Put my console here. Maximize this, and we're good. So let me go to my D drive. Let's go to projects. Let's go to open source. And let's look at uh, let's first look at the Nikeza app just to okay. You know, let me let me get back to giraffe. So to get started with giraffe, all you need is .NET Core to be sure you have .NET Core available. Let's just run this you should see your version of .NET Core available there. Uh, the next thing we need to do is we need to install the giraffe template. So if you remember .NET Core has .NET New right and this .NET New shows you all the different templates you have. As you can see I've already installed the giraffe template but I'll show you how to how to install that template. So to, to do that we need to come here say .NET let's head over to giraffe okay so we'll be using this a lot but I should probably bookmark this we'll be using this a lot so this has all the documentation we need to get started with uh, giraffe okay so just we need to head to the installation page installation section and it shows you how to install the template okay it, it, you could, you know, create a brand new console app and then configure Giraffe for it, but you know, in my experience, that's just too much work, as, especially as the default template is very lightweight and very simple. Okay, so let's see, copy this, come here, paste this. So this is .NET new -i, which is saying install this template. So the template is a NuGet package of this name. And that just installs it. So we press enter. All right, so we're done. So this is uh, what it should look like after you should be able to see this giraffe template when you're when you're done with that. So um, yeah, um, next thing we need to do is just give me a moment. Let me rename this template. So to use the template, we just say .NET new, but just .NET new will show us all the different options we want. As you can see, giraffe, F sharp. So we say .NET new giraffe. So we can't spell giraffe. .NET new. Okay, before I do that, let me first create the directory of our application. So let's say mkdir, say giraffe. And let's cd into giraffe and then .NET new uh, .NET new giraffe. Okay, so with this, as you can see, the files are there. So let's uh, open it in VS Code. So in VS Code, as you can see, 
um, this is everything we need. We just have a program.cs that configures the application. We have a view, we have a model, a model, and we have some text on the page. Nothing fancy, nothing spectacular. Okay. But this is the important part of this um, tutorial is that if you look, this is the entry point of our application. Okay. So this is where we set up the ASP.NET Core pipeline. Um, so this is where it says the content directory configure is where it calls this configure method. Okay. To configure all our middleware components. So as you can see, we have only two middleware components. So the middleware components form a pipeline for requests. So when a request comes in, it starts from the first component and then the request is handed off to the next component and so on and so forth asynchronously. So uh, what happens is with this pipeline, with these pipelines in place, if I wanted to add like authentication middleware or cookie middleware or single sign-on or whatever I want, I could just come here and say app dot use and i could use other you know middleware as well so those will happen before uh before you know entering the giraffe framework and if you are someone who has used the you know owing in the past you would understand how this works this works pretty much like owen with the exception though of the services part of it so um, asp.net core uses dependency injection to configure each of these middleware Right, so there are services that are needed by the middleware, by each middleware component, like even the giraffe framework as well. And those services they get you know configured in the configure services. So the way you should think about it is that you add, you use middleware, you add services. Okay, so it's a service is like a box. You know, you could have like multiple, sorry, a middleware component is like multiple boxes all connected together in the request pipeline and the services are injected into each box. Okay. Or they can be injected into each box depending on the configuration. So here we have login, info, um, you know, login configuration as well. So if you want to log to output or to blob storage or whatever, whatever login uh, you want to do for your application, you're free to do it here. And then finally, we have uh, the so this is so that's for the everything I've just showed you now is just ASP.NET specific, so um, is to general ASP.NET, not giraffe specific. So now, onto the giraffe specific things, um, we just need two pieces of middleware. So the first one is the error handler, so that in case an error occurs inside the giraffe framework, the error handler will capture it, and that's what this is doing here. So what it's saying is. Um, taking the HTTP context, taking the exception, the logger, and then just logging it, saying an handled exception to the log, and it's clearing the response and setting this uh, status to 500 and you know displaying the error text on the page. And finally, this is our web app. Very simple, very straightforward. You don't need you know too much. Uh, you don't need uh, too much ceremony around it. It's very simple. All right, so here what happens is because this is a functional framework, right? So it, um, it's, how do I put it? So if you think of your, your entire web server as a function, as a function that takes a request and asynchronously responds uh, uh, um, and asynchronously, you know, returns a response or it may or may not return a response. So in that light, right, you could compose your web application by composing smaller pieces, right? So each piece is, you know, coupled together to form a larger piece and so on and so forth until you get your application. If you are used to, uh, a, if you are used to Swab, this is very similar to Swab. In fact, it, yeah, Giraffe borrows heavy inf inspiration from Swab. But if you're not, um, that would take a little bit of getting used to. So that's part of the reason why I highly recommend coming to this page, going through it, you know, step by step, you know, going through this documentation, documentation step by step. I am, um, I'm still, you know, uh, I'm still getting my hands around, getting, wrapping my mind around the framework. But every time I, every time I'm stuck, I just come here, consult this, uh, document and it helps out a lot. It helps out a lot. So, um, 
back to what we were saying right so as you can see here it's saying that when it gets a get request irrespective of the get request no no not irrespective when it gets yeah irrespective of the get request it chooses a route so if you choose the um, default route which is slash it should return this right so it should return a razor view html of index page and this is the model it should pass to the view so to put that remember the model was defined here as a message that has a text of string uh the view it's marked as cli mutable because of razor okay the view on the i i'm not too sure but I, I, I think so the view on the other hand is you know here as well now if we go back if you look at our razor engine configuration here you will notice that in the configure services right this is where we configured the razor engine and we told it to use this folders path this um you know content root path slash views views folder to search for views okay that's important because you know when you're using a when you're using a giraffe unlike uh, this thing where you have controllers and, and whatnot um you would have to specify the location but the location well, all locations are um, relative to this views folder so that's about it that's uh, okay one last thing i think i need to just restore and run the app to make sure to show you that it's working so to run the application say dotnet restore and it restores the packages then the next thing is to say dotnet run And is running right now so let's test it out and see so come to index page I think I prefer to bring this here so let's go to localhost 5000 and as you can see we have a very own hello world from giraffe um, if I try to go to a URL that doesn't exist I will see a not found okay let me make it a little bit more exciting. Um, let's add another route for Razor HTML view. Let's call this route about, and let's call the view about. Uh, there's no, no need to pass it any model so so yeah I think I should be able to come here create a new file call it about.cshtml um, let's just copy this paste it here so instead of model.txt we will say about us us I don't need a model save that let's run the app again so I ended the one thing we could do though is to say dot net watch right sorry dot net watch and just say run watch run the reason for that the reason we can do that is because uh, the CLI tools has already been configured for us Right, the .NET Watcher. So by just adding this here, that's all you need. And mm, type mismatch. Yes, I figured as much. Um, the type mismatch is because this is unhappy. Hmm. I hate to have to use unchecked dot default of. Ouch. This is not a good. This is not a good way of doing it, but yeah. I just want to see if it will work. Yeah. So let's head back. 
because this is not found. Let's go to about, and it shows us our about us. Okay, I'm still not satisfied with this, so let me see if I can figure out why. So come here, search for Razor. Razor, Razor View, Razor HTML View. Hmm. It's like you, you just have to supply a model of some sort. Okay. That means this works, it's just I'm not a fan. Mm. I think maybe what I should do is I should have a default HTML view, but this is fine. This is fine. All right, so that's about it. Um, I hope this video is useful. I hope it helps um you know explain all the nuance how to run the application how to um how to configure giraffe you know and so on and so forth so peace